love this. Yeah. It's Pepe! Oh! <laughs> Charlie, welcome to my channel once again, once again, once again. I don't know. It seems like it's now a trend for a lot of Nigerians. Whenever they come to Ghana, they just want to try one thing, and that is Kusiani Meku. See, I've seen a lot of videos, vi a lot of plenty. What at all have they? You know, I think I understand the reason why they are so much in love with Kusiani Meku, that's the egg and the pepper sauce, is that, you know, most times when they see Ghana food and they've actually not tried it, and they see egg all over it, they are like, this is a food for the gods. <laughs> Most of the times, that's what they say. When they see the eggs, food for the gods, food for the gods, all the time, food for the gods. But let's be honest, egg is very, very good for human consumption. And I've actually seen a lot of bodybuilders, let me say bodybuilders. Most of them, I've seen them eating eggs and they say it is very good for the body. Or um, especially when they are training like that. So I don't know why Nigerians keep shaming us with this our egg and but whenever they travel from Nigeria, they come to Ghana, it's like it's the first thing that they ever try. Or let's say immediately Ghanaians introduce that to them, they just fall in love with it. See, let's watch some of these videos. When we come back, then we talk again. Someone told me about pepe, pepe egg. Oh, you, that one, you have it before you leave this, you go, you have it before you leave this place. This video. And I need to have a video of you. But this is the radio station. Don't worry, how we do it, yeah, just... Dining into dining. <laughs> <laughs> and cook for back. Yeah. We, will, we will work it. So you want to try, kosi, it's called Kosiani Meku. What? Kosia, in Kosiani Meku. In Kosiani Meku. Yeah, Kosiani is egg, Meku is pepper. Oh. Kosiani Meku. Yeah. Kosiani Meku. Yeah. yeah. A few moments later. No, you have to eat it with the onion just for today. So what we'll do is that you oh. will reduce the onions a little bit. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I should give me one. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. go. Let's go. <laughs> this is an egg baptism. Pepe. <laughs> Tell me you don't like it. Pepe. You love it. It makes so sense. Of, That's the first bite. <laughs> <laughs> it makes yeah. sense now. Uh, I know the pepper. Um. <laughs> Not bad. Ah! <laughs> you like it. Let's go again. Not bad. Yeah, let's go again. Let it be cool. Be cool. If I chop together now, we're going to chop together. It's a pepper. I know the pepper. Okay. <laughs> I smoke it. You see? Ah! You see? You see? <laughs> <Hey>! <laughs> Yo, <laughs> he didn't want to have it. He didn't want to have it at all. Oh. He didn't want to have it. That's that guy It makes sense. Makes sense. That's guy. I'm about to have breakfast, madam. Please give us egg. What's the name of this sister? Oh, Kosmani Moko. But that one, that name long ago. Not be egg. E G G. Oh, Kosmani Moko. That name not long past the egg. Anyways, please give us. Why this egg all white now? The egg black, it's a bleach. The egg bleach. The bleach egg. Why you not use the brown one? Why did you use the brown egg? They're all the same. They're all the brown same. One, They're all the same. Oh, okay. So guys, we're about to have an emoimoku for breakfast. This is what we say Moses Blaze wedding now tomorrow, so we to buy a gift. We guys buy like 20 crates of egg for Moses Blaze. Use that normal wrapper, gift wrapper. Yes, and those, those wrapper. We call that about those red and white. The red and white ones, you know now. That I be color now. Moses now, God's part. Oh, oh, That I be oh, color now. Oh, 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 Moses, the dust is good. Normal, uh, only orange. They are color now orange. Yeah, okay, okay. Orange go make sense. Wrapper, we get 20 or 30 crates. 30 crates, yeah. Moses, uh, you know now, we are now, we married to a Ghanaian. So, you know, so don't use egg play. So we're going to get used to it. All right. Yeah, hey, give my friend on. Yeah, hey, give me two. Give me two. I'm gonna raw onions, so. Yes. I know they really like cook onions. Cut up more of raw one. Uh, you you will get used to it. <laughs> but Ghanaians, now just they like just this seafood, egg and sauce with onions, egg, egg pepper egg, and onions. Egg sauce. <laughs> <laughs> 
Early money excess. But this is paper. You marry Yoruba man. I don't know. Ah. Put too much paper on my Spicy man. Mm. So yeah, so. For breakfast. So most of the are, you know. Mari is now our wife. She's Ghanaian. You must shop egg. <laughs> Nobody would shop for Nigeria. Ghana egg. Don't be not easy to play. Anytime you go visit, they just buy egg for bag as they bring you. Ah, okay, I if I go visit, they might put egg for my yes, bag. Yes. Today, I'll be teaching Nigerians how we eat egg in Ghana, cooked egg in Ghana. You guys can see I have my green pepper, I have my red pepper, and I have my onions. This is how we eat egg in Ghana. We make our egg look seductive and charming. You understand? Not be this one's way, Nigerians will just cook egg, then they will pick one egg like this and they will eat it raw like this. No! Hmm? That is not how we eat it in Ghana. See? If you go to occasions, we can we can, yes, we can serve egg and pepper as appetizer before they go bring main food. You understand with pepper, actually, we we sabi we sabi we sabi to eat food. We know how to garnish food. Ghana here, we know how to garnish food. If you eat them, you gonna say yes, you eat. I go just carry carry raw egg like this. You go just chop it. It's not good. I, I feel like vomiting self. I feel like vomiting. Now let me show you how they eat egg for Ghana. I have my small knife here. Just cut your egg into two. You know, at the head, at the at the head Nigerians they say we know they eat, we know they eat pepper for, for Ghana. We know they eat pepper for Ghana. Who tell you? Now we get pepper. You don't want me. Now we get pepper. Let me can show you. I have the red one. I have the green one. So you can choose either one you want to use. I don't put my pepper for inside. I have my onions. Watch. I add my onions. I close them. Mmm. 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 My brain won't blow. Mmm. Nah, man. Nigeria, look at our upgrade. Look at our upgrade. Mmm. Oh God, I want make, make I eat again, make I eat again. No, this thing is too sweet. It is too sweet. Ah, we're gonna call it Kosiani Moko. Kosiani Moko, Kosiani means the egg, and Moko means pepper. You understand? Kosiani Moko, egg and pepper. Hmm? Very sweet. Oh, again, it's just like the one. You take your onions, you add it to it, you close them. Eh? Mmm. Mmm. -mm. With this, I can finish the of this egg. With this, I will feel chop all the way. Eh? You don't want me? This is how you're supposed to be eating egg. Nobody will carry raw egg chop. You don't want me to now. You don't want it. Get the garnish jam. Garnish jam is right. The egg will give you something for body. Eh? You guys really have to upgrade. Do you not know upgrade? Don't worry, I'm here to be teaching you guys how to eat, how to cook food, so that you can get something for body. You don't want me? Eh? Hmm. Ghana, we are blessed. We are blessed with food and how to and how to eat it. We sabi prepare and we sabi garnish them. We sabi arrange them. You don't want me? Eh? What 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 I try to tell me? This is how we eat egg in Ghana. That's how we eat them. So I believe you guys have plans. Eh? I'm gonna I'm not gonna make a simple course. Eat my my egg. I beg. I'm gonna buy 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 buy. So just look at the way one of the girls or one of the ladies <laughs> was just jumping around. And the guy that was like, he's never going to try. I think uh, he's the Ogechi, Ogechi, Chioma guy. Like the guy that sang that song.
he said never he's never going to try but I just he was requesting for more pepper or the meku <laughs> like see i don't want to say anything about anybody's food me sitting here i've actually tried a goosey i've eaten often salad i've eaten wheat i've eaten the afufu so don't say anything bad about somebody's culture especially just try it if you don't like it yes you don't like it but you see nigerians on social media bashing Ghanaians and saying all sort of things that hey your food is this your food is that is is food for the ghost man i know that sometimes it is just a cruise in uh, on social media for us to just entertain ourselves but charlie that's our culture that is our culture don't don't say bad things about our food it's not something that we like you see and i'm sure a lot of people will not like it for instance if you travel to india you see the way that they make their food sometimes you'll be on social media you'll see some chinese food you see some bangladesh food you see some food from somewhere and you'll be like mm, what is this mm -mm. but man that is their culture they are enjoying their food like they are enjoying their food allow them you see but nigerians will not allow us to eat our food in peace they will be hitting us left right center on social media but whenever they come to ghana and they try the food they understand why see ghana food i always say as i said in my previous video is spiritual it's very addictive you see the moment you try it you'll be addicted so never say bad things about Ghana food, Nigerians. This is just because you're Meko. When we introduce the other foods to you, I'm telling you, you will never eat any other food again. Even the Nigerian foods, I'm not sure you will eat it again. And the only thing you'll be eating is Ghana food. I'm telling you. <laughs> Thank you for watching.